tell a story about Dick, but uh, it, it takes a lot. It takes, you know, it takes a lot to put all this stuff together. And a lot of rehearsals, a lot of services and stuff that you always call. We really appreciate it. We appreciate you too. All right. Uh, come on, let you go first. Uh, Clint, you go second, and then Herb, you can finish up. Appreciation to Darius Hayes for 13 years of dedicated service from the music partner at Bonby Heights Seventh Day Adventist Church, October 3rd, 2019. We love you.
it's uh, often in this particular job, we, we don't pay people what they're worth. Are you listening to me today? Uh, sometimes the very people that help our service, you know, really be meaningful because what is your service without music? You know, so we want to thank you for your sacrifice and your family sacrifice as well. And that uh, we're going to tremendously miss you're at New York and New York. Maybe I'll come out and visit. This is your, we're in the church you played it before, so I'd love to come out and visit again. And we want to thank, let's just give him a hand again. Something that 
Other countries that we would say they're not civilized as we are, they don't have that problem. But in our country, we believe in bearing arms and having our amendment rights. And so at any moment, at any time, there is no safe place, whether it's a school in Sandy Hook, our college in Oregon, our church in the Carolinas. It doesn't matter. The devil is angry. And he has possessed the minds of men and women. And he does all sorts of evil. But not only that, even in our communities, we are killing one another. Am I right about it? Breaking news is constantly on your television of another person. And many of them are other people, African, African Americans, that are, are killing one another for senseless crimes. But not only that, our, we cannot. We cannot live. Our, it's unsustainable with our environment, with with the, with all the things that we're doing to this earth. It cannot last much longer. Uh, this world can't last much longer because of the diseases that we have in this world. All the different types of strains and bacteria that we have is causing us not to live very long.
that we've been waiting for a long time. And I don't know how long it takes him to get here, but I want to be ready. What about you? Amen. So the first principle is behold, he comes with he is coming, and it's, it's an announcement, it's certain, it, 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 it's it's called, it's, it's it's imminent, it's something that's gonna happen. But then the next part of the pastor says, with clouds. With clouds. Now what why is Jesus coming with clouds? Well, Jesus wants to have a grand entrance. The, the first time he came, he slipped in here in Bethlehem. You all remember that? Only a few shepherds knew about him. But this next time he comes, it's going to be a grand entrance when he comes. Everybody's going to know about him. The, in fact, he's going to come on a cloud. Matthew chapter 24, verse 30 and 31. Catch it. Matthew 24, verse 30 and 31. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in where everybody. Are y'all with me today? In heaven. And then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the what everybody? On the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet.
16 and 17. For the Lord himself, I like that, will be sin from heaven with a shout, with a voice. Listen, listen, there is no kind of secret rapture. There ain't nothing secret about a shout. Are y'all looking for me? When he comes back, everybody's going to know about it. The Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet.
He has eyewitnesses of his coming. Before he comes, he's already got people that saw his coming. He sent them the video. He's so good, he gives you, he has given some people a vision of his coming so that he can, so that they can be eyewitnesses. They can tell us that he's coming. And, and let, me, let me see if I can get some witnesses. Isaiah is a witness of his coming. Isaiah saw him coming. In the book of Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 9, and it shall be said in that day. That's what Isaiah he, He's right here. He said, this is what's going to happen. Behold!
going to settle things. Old slaves, that people kill them with their chains still on their legs. Put them in unmarked graves. They didn't know maybe about the Sabbath. They didn't know about all the things that you know about. But God in his mercy, before his second coming, is going to raise them from the dead. When you're fraudulent, when you're phony, you gotta come to God. 
trust in him. All we have to do is say amen. See, amen means, amen means that Jesus has taken over the situation. And because of what hell happens in my life, I can say amen. amen. Even though the trial is not over, even though the pain is still hurting, even though I
Oh. 